Hi, welcome to a quick walk around video for our VW Passat Estate. Uh, car wash behind me, very busy at the moment, so I'm going to try and speak up as best I can, but I apologise if it's not all that clear. Um, I'm going to take you around and show you everything. Um, it's a nine-year-old black car, so obviously there is a few little marks here and there, uh, but nothing really that serious at all. Uh, really nice level of spec, nice history. Um, yeah, decent car. Right, let's go around and show you what's what. Uh, so metallic black paintwork, usually diamond black on the VWs is the I will find out the colour name they use and put that on the ad so you know exactly what you're looking at. Uh, front parking sensors, front fog lights which I believe double up as daytime running lights. Uh, 17 inch alloys, they're all in pretty decent condition. A couple of minor curb marks here and there but nothing too bad. Uh, you've got premium brand tyres on the front, Michelin and then Radar on the back, which is a budget brand. Paint looks all decent, like I say, it is black and you know has been on the road for nine years. So if you go over with a magnifying glass, you're gonna find some chips and scratches and bits and bolts, but there's really nothing big for me to point out to you on this video. Wheels and tires look all good. Privacy glass going through the back there. Rear parking sensors as well. A couple of little marks on the boot lid from bits being loaded in and out. It's got the load cover. That's all working as it should. Storage sections here and here. Uh, rear seat release on either side. There is a 12 volt point built in there as well. A full size spare wheel. Um, I'll include pictures of it because it's a bit fiddly to do a one hand. That lug there and that lug there, if you twist them, this opens up. You've got your tools in there and your locking wheel nut is in there as well. But like I say, I will include pictures of that so you can see exactly what's included. Warning triangle just up there as well. Paint all looks original to me. I couldn't spot any poor previous paintwork or anything like that. We've definitely not had anything done. Uh, black roof rails and black shark fin aerial just up there. A little bit of corrosion just on that wheel there. Indicators built into the wing mirrors. That's the outside done. We'll head inside now. I'll start at the back. All black in here. Um, electric windows in the back. Child locks just here. Full set of mats present in the front and the back. You've got a 12 volt point for the rear seats there as well. As you can see, it's full black leather. Three headrests along the back. Isofix points for your two outer rear seats and if you're not using the middle one it has this through loading facility armrest which doubles up as a sort of storage compartment and has a couple of cup holders grey headlining you've got airbags built in up here and there's your lighting up there obviously really good leg room being the estate version side obviously much the same just showing you that everything opens up and functions as it should seats all in good order a couple of little indents perhaps from having a car seat in it but no rips or tears or anything like that magazine holders in the back of the seats move to the front now electric windows in the front as well of course passenger seat has height adjustment and lumbar support that's all in very good condition. Mats are all clean as well. Airbag on the front here, uh, sort of a brushed satin sort of feel to the fascias. Uh, you pull this little tab down. That's your original VW wallet with all the owner's manuals and everything. I'll include a picture of that spread out over the seat so you can see what's there. But again, it looks like the full lot. You can pipe the aircon in through to the glove box. 
and there's also an option there to turn off the front passenger airbag. I don't believe this has isofix points though. No, it does not. Right, round to the driver's side now where we'll finish off. Okay, electric heated mirrors, windows all round that can be locked from the front, and there's the remote release for the tailgate. Uh, driver's seat, much the same setup as the other one, except the adjustment here, I don't know what the name for that adjustment is, that's electric. And your lumbar support is like an air-based system as opposed to just that handle that you had over the other side. So a little bit different. A little bit of wear on the mat, but nothing excessive. Fiddling around with the seat, I've put myself very far forward now. Right, that's better. I'm just going to pop the windows down as well, it's very hot today. I try not to have the blower on because you can't hear me over it. Right, auto headlights. Two keys, both original VW remote locking types. Your wipers are here, your indicators are here, and cruise control is just down here. Uh, there's the miles, you should be able to see them just there. 97,949, decent bit of fuel in there as well. Quarter of a tank, which they think works out to about 170 miles. Uh, Multi-function leather steering wheel, Got your audio and phone controls over this side. It doesn't have the voice module. They all come with this on the steering wheel regardless. That just becomes a mute button if it doesn't have the voice control. And over here you can scroll through your onboard menus. Analog clock just up here. Here's our infotainment. So radio, I'll just show you that. It has got the DAB, DAB, FM and AM. The media button, that's if you're using the auxiliary port the SD card or the MDI port which I'll show you when we get to it. Link your phone up here and then your sat nav is here. There's also traffic reports and you can do general setup of the head unit itself. There's a single slot CD as well there. I think it's single slot anyway. Yes I believe that is. Um, going down a little bit further Heated front seats, I definitely don't need the use of that today. Aircon, which is dual zone. 12 volt point here. Uh, electric parking brake with auto hold. Traction control. You can turn your parking sensor noise off here. And that's the auto stop start for the engine. Uh, six speed manual gearbox. If you roll that cover back, there's cup holders there. You put the cup in and kind of press that button to secure it round. I'll try and reset that with one hand. There we are. Armrest inside which is the aforementioned MDI point. Uh, you'll need a lead.